What's up guys? Hey, hope everyone's having a great day. We have my MR2 Spider. I got it running really, really well. Uh, the last video that we just did, it was a cool looking thumbnail in my opinion, but all we did was oils, fluids, and um, a serpentine belt. We didn't go drive the car. So I did get the car driving really, really well, and I thought VVTLI was working, but it wasn't. And I still need a tune for VVTLI, but my car now produces about 10 PSI on the low cam of the 2ZZ, and I bet it's pushing like 260 horsepower. It is crazy fast now. Um, it wants to break loose. Uh, it accelerates on high RPM so much better than it ever has. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the MR2 out um, with its 2ZZ powered and uh, again turboed. That's why it's quick. We're gonna take it out. Um, before we do that though, I am gonna have my girlfriend come help me and we're gonna uh, take off the the hard top and we're gonna kind of do like a POV, like what does it feel like to drive a boosted MR2. You guys will be able to see the tack and see how fast it is and kind of get an experience. I wanna take you guys along. So it'll be like a POV of this uh, boosted MR2 Spider. I definitely recommend doing this. Now again, I would recommend if you can find a tune for it. Um, I might, I, I'm trying to think maybe if I'm gonna go to this AEM, 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 AMS. So I'll probably be doing that soon. But right now I do have the Epexi on there and it does have a tune, it's just not the best of tunes. So let's go ahead and jump into the car. Okay, so we are ready. Uh, we took the top off. She's gonna be like the point of view, so my girlfriend's gonna hold the camera. Um, but oh my gosh, I'm so excited to show you guys. It is really fast and uh, I cannot wait to show you. So let's go ahead and get in the car. Um, we just left. We are in the car. I'm gonna give you guys like a POV, so she'll bring the camera over here in a second. Uh, everything's really good. So I did do that Seacro mesh with a little bit of MT90 Redline and the transmission is so much more happy with it and it's so much easier to go into the gears. The MT90 is just so much, you only run that in there, it's such a notchy feeling and it's not as good for the Synchro. So I do recommend doing a little bit more Synchro mesh than the MT90 or the cocktail that I'm doing which is two Synchro meshes and then a little bit of that, about maybe a half a quart of MT90 and you get really good results. I'm, I'm loving the transmission. Um, the car is a little warming up still. It's about uh, 69, the water temp's about 69 um, degrees Celsius. So we're gonna wait till it gets about 72, 73, and then we'll open it up. Uh, we'll merge on the highway here, and you guys will feel some boost, and it's pretty awesome. So I'll have her bring it around here, and you guys can see how fast the car is. Here we go, we're gonna roll into it. So fast. So, so fast. As I came to this stop and, and we went through there, the low cam works really good and it'll rev to about seven, eight, almost 8,000 on the low cam. But when the lift kicks in, it gets really choppy. And I still haven't figured out the lift, but the reason why it's running so good right now is because I put a new air filter on it. And the air filter that I had, I'll insert a picture, um, it was not allowing enough air to get into the 2ZZ because the air filter had a plastic like directional filter or bung in it, I guess you would say. And inside of it, between that and the pipe, you could not, there was not enough air for the 2ZZ. So when it revved up high, it could only get a little bit of air from the sides. So I threw out that old, and it was, I think it was an Apexy uh, air intake filter. Threw that out and just put a standard um, black air filter, it's not even K&N and just like a, a universal one, I put that on there and now the car can just absolutely runs like a champ. And so that was the issue for me. So you never know what it is. I always thought it was something to do with the tune and why it wasn't going fast. But in this case, it just needed more air from that air filter. I'd installed it wrong. But yeah, everything is just so much good, so good. I, I love it. Uh, again, I need a tune and I really want a tune. If someone can help me find a tune for this, comment down below, that'd be so nice. But oh man, it's just so enjoyable to drive.
of the car is pretty good. I'll let you guys listen to kind of the exhaust. It sounds pretty good, actually. The fans are kicking on, it's getting a little warm. Um, it's not hunting or going crazy or anything like that. So it is running really well. And the car is just crazy fast now. It really feels good. Um, I was saying the other day, it feels faster than the Lotus. Now with, with the lift not working, I know that the Lotus is faster whenever I can get it working, if I get it working again. But this car is insanely enjoyable. I love this setup. So this is a 2ZZ again with the turbo on there and C60, so six speed manual transmission. I love it. I, I highly recommend getting this. At least doing the 2ZZ, you guys will be really, really happy with this platform. But man, it is sounding good. So let's go ahead and get back in the car and we'll go for some more driving and we'll do some more POV for you. Let's jump back in the car. Uh, one of the things I do want to do is I want to try a different BOV. So currently I have a Forge. That's the one that it came with or the kit that it came with. And I would love to do a Turbo Smart one. So I think I'm going to be doing that next. Um, I think that's my next plan is to do a uh, Turbo Smart BOV on it. Um, again, it does run on methanol. And when you do full throttle, the methanol does kick in and it's actually routed behind the battery. That's the methanol. Um, and it does shoot, but it doesn't shoot too much. I think I'm gonna, um, you can also control how much methanol it puts into it. So I might put a little bit more on it. The engine's cool, it keeps the temperatures cool. You can see the air intake temperatures are cool. Um, it never really gets over like 90 degrees Celsius, which is good. If it gets over like 120 degrees Celsius, then you're gonna, you'll see the temperature on the, uh, on the um, Pexi and on the, uh, well not on the Pexi, but on the, thermostat on the car it'll start creeping up so I'd keep an eye out for that but everything is running really good so I'm really happy with it this is a, a really good car um, I do want to do some new wheels uh, on this I've been saying that because I'm pretty sure the tires are almost gone I think there's a little nah, there's some tread left it's not showing any quarter or anything but the tires because uh, it, it does it does break loose now so it is really fun another thing I also want to do is I did put in a muffler on this car but I did want to do it a center exhaust so maybe I'll be doing a center exhaust as well sometime soon. But man, I absolutely love this car. I just I just cannot recommend one of these enough. Um, we're gonna go ahead and have my girlfriend, she's running into the store real quick, but we're gonna have her uh, do some flybys on the car. So that's what we're gonna be doing next. So uh, that'll probably be the intro. You'll see some flybys and we'll go film some more right now. say um, we're coming up to a stoplight but I did want to say I don't know if you guys paid attention to this or not um, the boost gauge the what, what, how much boost they're putting down but in third gear it goes up to about 10 psi now which is a crazy amount compared to what it used to be so we'll do uh, one more pull here in a split second when the light changes and I'll show you guys uh, how much psi it puts down now there's five that was a lot I was having so much fun with that car, I forgot to do an outro. So here's an outro. 
We're with the hard top in the garage. Make sure to hit the like button. I hope you guys kind of enjoyed the uh, 2ZZ boosted sounds. Seen it rev all the way up there. It is such a fun build. I love it. Definitely recommend it. Um, there's a lot you can do with these uh, MR2 spiders. I love a 2ZZ in them. The boosted 2ZZ has been a little bit more complex for me lately. Um, but so far that car has been really reliable with the turbo on there and the 2ZZ and I really enjoy it. I think you guys would love a 2ZZ on the MR2. There's a lot of them out there. Uh, I mean there's a few but um, when you go and go for a drive with one, there's such a good time. So make sure to hit the like button, subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next video.